it's Danny, um, what's up? <clears throat> and today, I'm gonna be starting a new, um, just like, reality thing, it's nothing special, of explaining. It's gonna be called Danny Explains, and my first episode is crushes and dating. How to tell if they like you, or how to tell if they don't like you. Okay, so, number one, these are reasons how to tell, like, if they like you or not. Um, the reason that I've seen that's most obvious is if they stare at you a lot. This occurs in mostly boys, but sometimes girls. And they just, like, stare at you, and sometimes, like, um, they just stop, don't stop staring at you until you look at them, and then they quickly look away. That's one way. And an obvious giveaway is if, well, their face turns red, or if they're, like, or if they, like, choke up when all of a sudden you start talking to them, like, when you say hi, and then they're like, um, um, and they don't know what to say. That's another way to tell if they like you or not. And another sign I've noticed is if they, like, sit next to you in every class or try to sit next to you and stuff like that. Because if they're, like, um, getting closer to you or something like that, like, if, say that you're sitting across the room. And then their friend is over there, so they come to sit with your friend, which is next to you. And then the friend gets up and leaves, and then he starts, like, trying to get in that chair and get closer to you. That's one way to tell. And another way to tell is if, like, <clears throat> sorry, frog in my throat, is if <clears throat> you, like, if they ask you out and you say no, they'll be like, oh, that sucks, or... <clears throat> they'll go like, oh, maybe some other time. If they say, oh, that sucks, maybe then they wouldn't ask you again. But if they say, oh, maybe next time, then yeah, they're probably going to ask you again. But another way to tell is just go for it. Or have, well, yeah, just go for it. Ask them yourself. If they tell you themselves, then okay, just say that you only like them as a friend and friend zone them or do something like that. Or you can actually tell them that, you know, you like them back if you like them back. That's how to tell if somebody has a crush on you or if um, you have a crush on somebody and you think they like you back. Look for those signs. They'll tell. But don't confuse kindness with liking someone. Because it could just be kindness or they have nowhere else to stare so they just stare at you. I don't know. I've experienced this many times. And they've all been false f signs, false facts. So, yeah. And here's some ways to tell if they don't like you. If they don't initiate the conversation with you. And they just... Like, you go up to them and talk to them. Instead of them coming up to you and talk to you. Oh, and I forgot this sign for how to tell if somebody likes you. Is if they do anything to come near you. Like, if they run up the stairs, even if they have the risk of tripping to catch up to you. That's one thing. And... Even if, like, they're going to get in trouble by a teacher, if they dash in the hallway, they, like, dash towards you. That's another way to tell if they do like you. One way, another way, I don't care. And another way not to tell is, like, not, like, another way to tell if they don't like you is if they say, like, um, there's, like, this hot girl that just, like, is a new student or something. They don't like you. They like, um, her or him. And another way to tell is if, like, you text them, and they never text you back. This happened with my friend, so I, I can tell that he doesn't like her. And, yeah. I mean, it doesn't happen with me, I don't text my crushes. I mean, one of them I've texted before, but... Turns out, I don't know, you like somebody else or something? I don't know. But, I've texted them before and stuff, but, eh. Turned out to be a false fact again. And... Another way to tell if they don't like you is if, like, you try to invite them over and, or ask to, ask them out, and they say they're busy. If they say they're busy, maybe they really are. But if it keeps happening, like, oh, I'm busy, sorry, I'm busy, sorry, I gotta help my little brother with his homework when I get home so I can't come over, then, yeah, they probably don't like you. And, yeah, that's technically the first, like, those are signs to look after. And if you're dating somebody, just, if you have a crush on somebody else, like, when you're dating somebody, 
I mean, I'm not dating my boyfriend anymore, and I still have a crush, but, I mean, yeah, just a symbol. Like, symbols this help they like you, or something like that. Just, if you want to go out of your way and try and, like, ask out your crush, go for it. But, here's some warnings and some tips. Try the clock trick. This is a trick that works to tell if they're staring at the clock or they're staring at you. Stare at the clock for approximately five seconds. And then look back and see if your crush is staring at you or the clock. Who knows? He may be staring at you because if the clock's in your direction, this has happened to me before, but it turns out I think he was, like, staring at the clock or something. I tried it. And they stare at you or they're staring at the clock. You can't ask them. Just go with one side and go with it. Who knows what they're doing? That's one trick. And here's a tip. If they do like you, don't be mean to them. Just act nice. And if they, if you don't like them back, just act nice and say you only want to be friends. Like, say that you just like them as a friend. And if you, like, here's a warning. Don't send your friends up. And don't tell many, many people that you like somebody. Or have somebody else tell them that you like them. And this is especially a risk to your crush. Is if your friend goes up to them and tells them you like them and asks if they like you back. Who knows, your friend could be lying and say that they said that they like you too, or they could say, oh, he said that he only likes you as a friend. Who knows what could happen? You gotta wait until the person asks you. Don't have your friend go up. This happened to me. My friends, like, I told them because it was truth or dare, I had to say it. And, and I'm talking about real life here, not me, guys, not Danny, the person behind the camera. Um, this happened to me, and... I haven't talked to my crush in like a month now, N not in a month, because I'm afraid to go up to him at all, I'm too afraid to, because it's getting too awkward, and all my friends know, and they're picking on me and stuff about it, and I can't stand it, I just can't go up to him, so, yeah, you tell me what you guys think, and if you need any more help with tips or anything, just post it in the comments, and I will reply as soon as possible. So, that's it. This is the first episode of Danny Explains. The next one will be about, I don't know, I'll have to come up with a subject. Okay, see you guys. Bye-bye.